Hey guys, it's me, Julie, back with another video. I am purposefully putting my hand in front of the lens because you guys have to guess. Do you think the wall is still a wrinkly sheet or do you think I got around to painting it? Right now, put in the comments what you think. Sheet or paint? And I will pull a winner for each one. It doesn't matter if you are right or wrong. Are you ready? Go do it, go do it, go do it. Don't change your vote. <laughs> sheet or paint are you ready Woo! guys that's paint i did it ah! <laughs> i'm so proud of myself <laughs> i got the paint done i'm so excited um just yeah that's about it so i have a couple twillies here I have a red and I have a blue and I will randomly give these away to one person who had said sheet and one person who said paint. Okay, all right. All right, let's do this. So I had a couple things I wanted to show you of mine. Um, I'm gonna do that at the very, very end. So if you're not interested, you can stop watching the video and go away, do your own thing. I'll show what I got at Kate Spade. I wanted to show you the Target straps, but I have no idea where they are. I'll show you a bag I kept this week that I shouldn't have. And what else? What else? Oh, my Johnny Cash bag. Yeah. Got to talk about Johnny Cash. Okay. Here we go. Are you ready? I am. I think we have 31 bags. And then I pulled some, like, five clearance bags or bags you've seen before. Um, Guys, I'm starting out with a bang. Are you ready? <laughs> this bag is so flipping nice you guys are you ready look at this thing oh oh yeah i'm gonna take it off because that thing's annoying um this bag is so nice you guys it is i would say new without tag i was told it was um and i i believe it it's absolutely gorgeous um it is a very pale pink color it is quilted. Um, I'm not sure if this is leather or not. We'll take a peek. Uh, gold tone hardware. You have a curb chain going into a grommet and then up to a padded handle. Okay. Uh, front's perfect. Side, perfect. Back, you guessed it, perfect. And there is a little slide, uh, slip pocket there. Perfect. Uh, I was seeing if there was a scuff. There's not. Here's the bottom. Couple marks on the bottom. Okay. I honestly think that's probably from storage. Uh, where the person had it that I bought it from. Like a couple divots from storage. The handles are perfection. Okay. Let's unstuff her. This person I bought this from stuffed her bags too. So it's um, really nice. Okay, so I think it was used. I changed my vote. I changed my vote. I honestly didn't take her stuffing out because the bag looks so nice. That was probably dumb of me. Um, but you can tell on the inside, there's just some lint. It's nothing crazy, but I can see some lint. So it definitely was used. Uh, two slip pockets here. We have a zip pocket pouch in the center. Gorgeous. And this side, we have a zip pouch. So you have three compartments. Let's see what this is um, made out of. It's made in Vietnam. And what does that say? Gosh, new material only. Does that mean not leather? Sounds like it. Okay. I'm going to say not leather. I'm going to say it's a faux leather. It's a very nice vegan leather. Um, okay, so this one is number 200, nice bruise, right? 279, you guys, I have them everywhere. I have one there, um, there's one there, and then there's another one higher up that you can't see. I don't know what I did, probably moving furniture. 279, this one's gonna be $70, okay? $70. I'm just gonna put that over there. No, I will put it in there. Sorry, I'm changing how I do things and I should not do that. <laughs> I want to put this somewhere really safe because it is like gorgeous on the outside, right? I don't want anything to happen to it. I don't want a brin to happen to it. Okay, you guys, this is another bang. It's 
starting out with two bangers. <laughs> um, I am going to lift the camera. Okay. This is a coach, pretty big bag. It's a coach tote. Um, it's awesome. I was actually going to carry this, guys, but it's slightly too big for me. Why don't I give you a size? Do I have my tape measure right here? Uh, I can use this one. Don't look at how janky it is. This is what I use to measure jewelry while I'm filming. Um, fif uh, almost 15 inches, you guys. Um, eek. So it has all these little peekaboo peek holes uh, with the different coach fabrics. It's really cool. Um, there's a couple little things on the front and that's it. Uh, online, it looks like this is a vintage bag, people are saying. I'm not totally sure, uh, but there it is. And um, I could only find these online for 200 and up. Not joking. Can you believe that? All right, let's bring her in close so we can talk about it. Look at these chunky handles. Oh my gosh, so good. So you have your silver coach tag right here, silver tone. Um, it does have coach leather wear right there. Uh, this guy has a little bit of darkening and so does this guy, okay? And then there's a mark here and a mark here. This is a leather bag um, with patent leather, okay? And then the side is great. You have a twist lock here. Okay. The back, also great. Oh my gosh, I'm going back again. Look at that. I thought that was stitching, you guys, because it was like perfect. Look, there's two little lines. <laughs> oh, can you see it? Sorry. That's so funny. I didn't even try to get that off. I thought it was stitching. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um... There's a little mark right there. I didn't see that either. Oh my gosh, Julie. Guys, I went through all the bags. I did better, more through the bags today than I usually do. A little bit of darkening on that corner. Overall, it's a, it's in really great condition, especially if it's vintage, it's been around. Um, okay, so you have patent leather handles, leather on one side, patent leather on the other side, not splitting or anything. Okay, you have this awesome chunky hardware. It's so cool and it's in great shape. Uh, you have a dog leash clip. You can go to here or to here. You get two, two settings on that. We have a um, certificate of authenticity. And then, dun -dun, let's look at the interior. Okay, it's beautiful in there. Okay, a little bit of lint, nothing crazy. Two slip pockets here. And here is your Coach Creed. Okay. And here's your zip pocket here. Okay. This thing is, um, I think it's still in great shape personally. Oh, hold on. Now that I look at this from this angle, this whole stripe, this is the back. Can you see there's like, right there, there's like coloring on that. Can you see it? I didn't see that before. Okay, all in all, I still think she's in great shape, you guys. Uh, I am, this one is number 280, and I'm going to ask 140 still, okay, 140. Okay, let's put her somewhere safe too. All right, I got to get some closer to me. Alrighty, we have another Kate Spade. You guys, I'm a little heavy in the big three today. The big three, kind of like the car dealers, right? The big three, Ford, car manufacturers, Ford, Chevy, and Dodge. <laughs> the big three for purses for me are Kate Spade, Michael Kors, and Coach. So I'm a little bit heavy in those. I do have other things, I promise, even to Brahmin today. Um, so don't worry, there is other stuff. Just there, it is a little heavy in those today. Okay, here we go, Kate Spade. It's gorgeous. This is a polyurethane, um, pebble grain polyurethane. Uh, it is a black bag with a beige spot. This was in my closet for a long time, and then I said, you have to get rid of this because I have a black bag from Kate Spade. I think it's even this shape with white splotches that are kind of like wonky a little bit. I'm like, you can't have both. You can't have both, Julie. You can't. Okay. <laughs> 
here we go. So I didn't see anything wrong with this when I looked, but let's see. Um, here's the front. I see one itty bitty little white mark like on the edge coat right there. Being nitpicky. Remember how close we are, guys. Kissing close. Kissing close. Those were all great. Those are all perfect. Okay, the bottom's in great shape. The corners are excellent. That There's a one little white mark there on the edge coat also. Okay, and then the handles are in excellent shape. There was one little white mark on this edge coat too. I, I couldn't get that off. It's so tiny though, but it's right there. All right, you have a nice little zipper pull. Let's open the bag. You do have your shoulder strap, okay? This is a satchel. It's called a domed satchel is what this would be called. A domed satchel. Okay, domed satchel. Here you go. Interior is beauteous. You have a zipper pocket here. Zipper works fine. And then you have two slip pockets here, okay? Um, it's gorgeous in there. Now, this strap is in great shape also. Uh, this is gold tone hardware, by the way. I would say this is going to be, if you crossbody this, it's going to be short. This is not Curvy Girl approved crossbody. It's a shoulder strap. Okay. Alrighty. So this one for the Kate Spade spots, Kate Spade spots, say it three times fast, you guys. <laughs> uh, number 281, it's going to be 60. Okay, six zero. All right, come here, Kate Spade spots. I'm too close here. Okay, there we go. Okay, next, we have a Rebecca Minkoff. It is leather, like all of Rebecca Minkoff's. Well, actually, now she does do other things. I have a denim bag from her. It is black. It is a quilted black leather with a chevron padded stitching. It's silver tone hardware. It's, um... A, like a larger crossbody. What am I trying to say? It's not like a little itty bitty crossbody. It's like a bigger size than that. There we go. Um, let's check it out. I didn't see anything wrong with this one either, but let's check carefully together. The front is beautiful. Silver tone hardware. Silver tone hardware. Oh, I remember there is one little thing wrong with this. We'll look at the strap in a second. You have a magnet snap pocket here. Bottom is excellent. Here's the little thing that's going on. On the nameplate, the screws holding the nameplate or whatever those are, um, the copper showing through. But they both are. It's kind of like it was supposed to be like that. But Okay, so you have the curb chain silver tone with the soft leather spot to go on your shoulder. Okay. Um, you can wear this one of two ways. You can wear it with uh, one of those pulled through like so, and you'd have a longer crossbody. It would crossbody, by the way. And shorter, if you want a shorter shoulder bag, you can double it up. Okay? I love these chunker grommets too. Aren't they cool? Hardware's in great shape. So this one has kind of a double latch uh, for security. <laughs> uh, you can unhook this or you could leave it unhooked if that would drive you bananas. Um, and then it also has a um, snap. This snap does work a little hard. Hold on. It's not this hard. It's because I'm on camera. There we go. Let me try again. Off camera. It does. It works a little hard, guys. It works. It's not awful, but it does work a little hard. Uh, some little marks on the fabric interior here. Okay. Get the stuffing out. We have three sections. A couple little marks in here. Zip pocket here. Zipper pocket center. A couple little marks down there also. And then... Here we go. A little bit of linty in there. Okay, so this is almost perfect. I would say the snap works a little bit hard, just so you're aware. Um, 
and then the nameplate, those two little copper spots. But other than that, this is in great shape. Okay, so this one is 282 and it's going to be 35 okay? $35. Come here, friend. Yeah, the snap just works a little hard. Am I doing it wrong? Oh, don't hold on to the buckle. Why would the snap work so hard, you guys? I have to be doing something wrong. I have to be. What am I doing wrong? Oh, if you grab it from the side, it works easier. Okay. That's annoying. Okay, there we go. Okay, next, we have another Kate Spade. It is perforated. This sat in my closet for a while, too. Um, I think I might still have it in a different color. <laughs> which is ridiculous, but I think I do. Okay, it is an eggplant color. It is perforated saffiano polyurethane, and it's perforated to have like uh, a rose or a flower there. You have like the luggage tag um, hanger. Um, the This one's in really nice shape too, you guys. I didn't see anything really. A uh, little white mark if I'm being nitpicky on the edge coat right there. Uh, sides perfect back. Perfect. I would say this is a medium size, you guys. Mini tote, maybe? Not a mini. A medium size. A small tote. There we go. A little tiny mark right there. Hard to see. Um, is that a mark? Yep. Little mark right there. Okay. Handles are gorge. Okay. Let's unzip. You do have the removable strap in here. And let me get this out. Okay, there's the interior. It's beautiful. Maybe a little bit of staining down there, but it's kind of all over. Okay. That makes you go dizzy. Woo. <laughs> uh, pockets here, one slip. And then we have a zip here. Okay, and then we have the removable uh, strap. This has a lot of adjustment. I, this you could cross body or shoulder strap. Okay, so stop saying okay, Julie. <laughs> this one is number 283, $60. Okay, six zero. That is beautiful and I absolutely love that color. Okay, you guys, we have a nine west. I don't usually have nine West just cause you know, they don't have a huge value, but I thought this was really cute. It's a little woven fabric, uh, red, a uh, little bag. Um, I don't know what the fabric is. It feels neat though. <laughs> uh, is that lint or a spot? Lint. <laughs> there you go. And there you go. There is a little like darkening right there. Everything else is pretty wonderful. Here's your strap right here. Let me try to crossbody this. So it does go on me, curvy girl Julie. Um, it's a little higher. It's about at my like natural waist. Okay, there's the interior. There's the nine west, hard to see in there. There is a zipper pocket and the purse itself has a zip closure. We'll try both of those right now some slight wear right there on the zipper. Okay, so the Nine West, this is number 284, and it is going to be $10, $10. Okay, let's put that down there. Okay, next we have a Vera Bradley. Isn't this a cute shape? I think it's so cute. All right, so it is a brown floral. Um, I did not really see stains on this, you guys, which is awesome. Okay, let's look it over. That's what you usually find with Vera, is stains or like the white areas will be dingy. This one's not so bad, not so bad. Handles are pretty good. Oh, I just saw this. One handle has a little pull right there, okay? It has a uh, magnetic snap closure. There is a longer strap in here. 
right here. You can cross body that, I'm sure you usually can with Vera. Uh, the interior's in good shape, a little bit of linties down there. Pocket, slip, okay, slip, 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 three across. And then this side, there is a zip. Okay, so let's look at this. And that's in nice shape too, okay? Silver tone heart, oh my gosh, the camera's up wicked high, sorry. Could you even see any of that? I hope so. <laughs> sorry, you guys. Um, okay, so the Vera Bradley number 285 is going to be $10 also. $10 steal. Okay. All price points, folks. All price points today. <laughs> okay, let's grab these two. One and two. Okay, next we have a Kipling. I almost called it a Bagalini again. I wrote on my little paper Bagalini and I just almost said it to you guys. It's not, it's a Kipling. <laughs> it is black. It is in great shape. There is no gorilla with this one. Um, do all Kiplings come with gorillas? I don't, I don't know the answer to that, to tell you the truth. Um, okay, so here it is. Beautiful front zipper pockets here. There's two of them. Let me just turn this a little bit more. Sorry, guys. The bottom, since we're looking at it, is great. Side is great. Side is great. I see a little tiny mark right there. It's like the seam came through, something like that. Nothing crazy. Here's the back. We have a zipper pocket here. We have a long adjustable strap so you could wear it as a crossbody or a shoulder bag. A short shoulder bag or a long shoulder bag. You can do whatever you want. Okay. Here's the interior. It's divided into two sides. So here's a little separator. On this side, you have two slips and a pencil slip. So three slips. <laughs> and you have this side. And on this side, you have your key fob. And you also have... Um, a zip pocket here. Do you guys want to know something? I was working on the bags today and I stuck a post-it note on my lip just to like hold it, <laughs> like sticking it in your mouth. But I put it on my lip, not meaning to. So it was on my lip and I pulled it off like, ooh, ow. It ripped all the skin off my lip, my upper lip. It feels so weird. So weird, you guys. <laughs> all right, number 286. Uh, eighteen dollars. The Kipling is eighteen dollars. Eighteen dollars. Oh my God, you guys! <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys! I still have these gloves. Don't judge, okay? I still have these gloves out from the thread up box, and it was like this, and I thought it was a hand. Guys, my heart just stopped. <laughs> Gosh, holy cow. Okay, here we go. <laughs> we have a coach tote. Okay, this is a pebbled polyurethane. It is in pretty good shape. It has two things I'll show you. Um, you have your coach luggagey kind of tag and you have your other coach hang tag. Um, here's your coach label. It is a brown with either a chocolate C or a very uh, dark chocolate C or, or a black C. I'll bring it up close for you. Okay, here's the bottom. Bottom's great. Side is great. This is a pretty good. We've got a little scratch there. Side is good. Now here's where you've got just a little bit of wear on these corners. Okay. Okay. And then one other thing. There's a dot right there. That won't come off. I tried. Okay. So you have some gold tone curb chain with the um, faux leather running through it. And let's get the stuffing out of here. 
Come on, baby. That was a lot of stuffings. Okay, you've got some lint in there. There is a little mark down there. Nothing crazy, but it's there. Slip, slip, pencil slip in the middle. There's your Coach Creed. And you have your zip here. And then you have your little dog tag closure, uh, dog leash closure. Okay, so here it is. This one is the Coach Tote. $287. This one's going to be $50. Okay, $50 on that one. Oh, we're on the other side. Woo! Okay, Kate Spade. Tan. I guess this is also a coach style uh, tote. No, I think this is more of a shoulder, shoulder bag. It is taller than longer. It's kind of fun, right? It's a vertical instead of horizontal. Um, it is a beige Safiano polyurethane. Um, I would call this color almost like a nude color. You have a bow hanging, which is to die for. Love that. Um, you have the Kate Spade in gold. It's still in great shape. Okay, let me turn this down and we're going to come in nice and close. Okay, side, gorgeous. Back, absolutely gorgeous. Side, gorgeous. Bottom, gorgeous. It's like it's never touched anything. <laughs> the handles, awesome. Okay, let's unstuff. My watch is telling me, keep moving, you're almost there. All right, there's the interior. It's gorgeous in there. You have a slip and slip. Um, zipper top, by the way. I don't know if I said that or not. There's a Kate Spade and a zip pouch here, pocket. So cute, right? Oh my gosh, hold on, I wanna see one thing. All right, I thought there was a white mark, but that's, no, it's part of the bag. <laughs> okay. You guys, if I'm being super nitpicky, there's like a little darkening right there. Okay, I wanted to show it to you. I try to show you everything. If I miss something, it's not intentional, you guys. Um, okay, number 280, nope. Oh, I never fixed this. Hold, please hold. Oh, I see what I did. <laughs> okay, so number 288, we're good. I can just change this. $60, okay, six zero. So this one's 288. Eek, I gotta get my pen. Because you know what? There was supposed to be a different 288. But I found a spot on it and I'm having a hard time getting it off. So I decided not to show it to you right now. Okay, here we go. 289. We have another Kate Spade. Look at how cute this is, you guys. You need this. It's a little present to yourself, right? Yes. Treat yourself. Get yourself a little present. <laughs> All right. So this is like a beige color um, with black on it. This is leather. It's a pebbled leather and um, a smooth leather for the accents here. It's gold tone hardware. From here, it looks like there's nothing wrong. And this is a distance. I mean, I know cameras make things different, but this is probably 18 inches. Okay. So kissing close, we have a mark right there. We have like a scuff kind of thing right there and right there. Very, very small. The bottom is pretty good. We have a little mark right here. The feet aren't very worn at all. Um, we have a scuff on the edge coat here, but I mean, it's not bad at all, you guys. And here is the back. The back looks really nice. And we have a magnetic snap pouch here. Pocket. Why do I say pouch all the time? There's a mark right there, tiny. Okay, then handles are in great shape and they go down to a gold tone curb chain. There is a magnetic snap across the bag. The bag's divided into three sections. I tried to keep this bag too, if I'm honest. There you go. Great interior. There's a slip and a slip. Uh, the center, let's check the zipper on the center. Yep, works great. There you go. 
And then I didn't unstuff this side yet. <laughs> you did half your job, Julie. <laughs> there you go. And you have a zipper pocket here. And look, still have your care cards. Okay. Um, and this lining's fun. Let's see what this says. It says, she saves old snapshots, but always something. Huh. There's a lot of fun stuff in there. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ta -da. Okay, this is number 289, 289. This one's going to be, oh, I meant to tell you. I could only find these online for 95 to, a, excuse me, 90 to $150. Now this one has a couple little things on it, so I'm only gonna ask 45, okay, 45. Okay, deal, deal, deal. Next, we have a coachy tote. Here we go. Dun, dun. This is a nice one, isn't it pretty? I just think this one's so pretty. I like this light um, color. Uh, this is a uh, pebbled polyurethane, okay? Gold tone hardware. You have some um, really, really like light, like almost a bone color uh, trim. Really nice bag. Let's look up close, okay? This is in really nice shape, you guys. You have your coach tag here. There's your side, it's perfect. It does have the snap closure that you can expand with or not. It works fine. <laughs> I want to show you, I'm not, I'm having a problem with snaps today, so I thought I'd show you. <laughs> uh, all right, here we go. Back is great. Bottom, a couple little marks. Okay, this side is also great. Handles. Excellent. This one has a snap, magnetic snap that closes each side. I would never, if I carried this bag, those snaps would never be done up. My uh, Louis Vuitton I'm carrying right now, half the time it's not zipped. Okay, not even half the time. Most, most of the time it's not zipped. <laughs> there we go. There's the interior. It's beautiful. You have three spot, three sections. You have a zipper middle. Uh, this side has your coach creed. Let's see if I can get it so you can see it. Okay. And then, I don't know which side you looked at. They both look the same. <laughs> this one has coach right here on the inside too. Okay. There it is. I would say um, this has like a little bit of a, like a ruffle in it that is because of the snaps. Do you see it kind of? ruffles out there just want you to see that okay uh number two nine zero two ninety fifty five 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 all right come here coachy 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 coo um okay oh you guys this one was so hard not to keep you guys i was dying look at it oh my gosh it's so cute. Look at it. <laughs> it's a little satchel that can also crossbody, and it's to die for. <laughs> Look at the floral on there. I just love it. There's orange, there's pink, there's hot pink. Oh, it's so good. Um, this is a pebbled uh, uh, polyurethane. Here's your coach tag. Am I zoomed, you guys? No. Okay. And your bottom is gorgeous. Your front is gorgeous. Side, gorgeous again. Back, gorgeous. Uh, side, gorgeous. Uh, the crossbody is um, adjustable, and I believe this is Curvy Girl approved. There's a lot of adjustment there. And it is also removable. It's attached right there. You have three little links in gold tone, and then you go to your little handles, which are also perfect. This guy has three sections. We have a zipper section on this side. Oh, a little price tag thing. There you go. I'm gonna zip that back up. You have a center section that closes with a magnetic snap. Okay, 
And you have two slip pockets here. Magnetic snap like so. That's a good spot for your cell phone in there. That's what I think. And then this zipper pocket, they have cute little pulls too. This zipper section. Okay. There we go. And this also has a zip pocket. And then let's see if I can get the Coach Creed to you. There you go. All right, let's zip her up. This girl is so pretty, you guys. Oh, I had a hard time with this one, you guys. If somebody doesn't buy it, I know it's going to go in my closet. And it can't. There's no room. I had to search forever for my Johnny, uh, Johnny Cash. Um, something's wrong with my numbers. I don't have 290. Did we have 290 already, you guys? Yeah, because that was 290 and I have the wrong thing written. Okay, no problem. All right, 291. And this one is going to be 70. Okay, 70. Are these all messed up now? You've got to be kidding me. Well, that really stinks, you guys. <laughs> My numbers are going to be all messed. That's okay. We can deal with it. Okay, there you go. $70 on the gorgeous pink. Please, somebody save me from myself and buy it. Please. Okay, I got to get some purses. They're a little ways away. Come closer, please. Come closer, my friends. So, guys, my purses that I showed back in November, which is when I started purse sales, I believe, um, they're in storage containers and like at the bottom of the stuff you've already seen. So I do need to get into those and start showing those. I did care, prove the pull five things that you haven't seen for a few weeks. So we'll look at those. Um, okay, here we go. This is a, is this a coach? Yeah, this is a coach, right? <laughs> yes, it's a coach. <laughs> Um, it is a cro coach crossbody and it is, I believe this is leather. I think this is smooth leather and navy, beige, and cream. It's in pretty good shape. There's a couple um, spots on the cream. Nothing crazy crazy, but I will show it to you. Okay. Came pretty clean, honestly. Here's the side. I love this grommet. Look at it. It's so cool. I just love it. Here's the back. And you have a slip pocket there. There's the side with your coach. Um, the flap is um, a magnetic snap. You don't have to work that. It's just for decoration. This looks like it's never been used. It's perfect. You have a slip pocket here. Also perfect. I feel like this would be a great, like, um summer vacation bag it's kind of nautical ish sort of I see one little itty bitty mark right there but it's crazy small I'm being nitpicky interior is perfection uh you have a zipper pouch here looks like you still have your care card nice there's your creed and will this tell me no, it just says made in Vietnam. Let me see what the care card is, if it's um, leather, if it's leather care. It says use leather cleaner and leather moisturizer. So I do think this is leather. Okay, there we go. So this one is $2.92 and it's gonna be 35, okay, $35. I think that could have gone for 45, but that's all right. I like that price for you guys. Okay, so number 293. I'm just fixing a couple numbers at a time here. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, this bag is so cool. This was in my collection. I never carried it. I want to use this bag, but it is just not my style, you guys. I'm gonna put it way up. Um, let's see. Are you ready? Isn't this so cool? Oh my gosh. It's a fabric with brown leather, uh, accessory, uh, trim. I don't know. Top. <laughs> I'm going to pull it in. This is a Cuba 
K-O-O-B-A. This is definitely a large like hobo style. I told you, I've told you, I love to look at hobos and I love what they look like, but I just don't like them to carry for me. Um, so this is like a canvas material with, um, I don't know, it almost feels like what they, like screen printing, like they do to t-shirts. Looks like little pebbles. This is in great shape, you guys, on the outside. This is a little worn. There's the kuba. Okay, this side is great. It has these cool like gusset bottoms, pleats. It's just a really cool bag. I love how it dips down right here. Like it, it's got, the bag's got some, gonna show some cleavage. <laughs> All right, so we have brown leather hardware. I'm sorry, a leather accessory. Guys, why can't I think? Whatever, there's leather on the bag, okay? It's nice. <laughs> and uh, brass. It's really, really cool. Uh, let's open this up. And we have the pouch that goes with it, still attached, uh, with it's clipped in, okay? This side there is um, a zip pocket. This zipper pull still has, sorry, hold on guys, I can't do it on camera. Yep, it works fine. The zipper pull still has the cover on it. There's the Kuba, interesting. Look at, this one has darkening in the same spot. It's almost like that's how they do it. Hold on. Similar. It's almost like they antique them. Still has its silica pack. And over here we have a slip, pencil slip, slip, and there's a little uh, clip for your keys. And this does have a magnet closure. I don't know if I said that. This bag is so cool, you guys. So, so cool. Boho. Wear this with a boho outfit. Ugh. You'll be the talk of the town, folks. Talk of the town. <laughs> All right, $2.93 is the Kuba. It's going to be just $40. $4.0. Cool bag. Somebody who loves hobos, you need that one. Okay, hobos more than just to look at them like me. Okay, I have another little uh, Michael Kors. This one is a kind of a satchel style, I would call it. Uh, let's get it up so you can see it. Okay, this is a pebbled uh, polyurethane. It is the monogram. Um, it's like cream with brown. There is a spot right there on the front. Other than that, the front's pretty great, okay? Uh, the tag does have some wear. Do you see it right there? But this is the coolest tag. It's got like tortoise shell in this thing behind it. Isn't that so cool? I really like it. Um, you have some really cool grommet action going on, really cool chain with, um, you've got the gold tone chain and also the plastic faux tortoise shell. I love that. Love. Okay. Here's the side. There's one little spot right there. Back is pretty fantastical. Here's the side. We have a little spot right there. Bottom, here you go. The feet have some wear, you guys. They've been doing their job. Little spot right there. Okay, let's look at the straps. Straps are great. I just want to show you one thing. There is some wear on the bottom link. So, so here you go. You can kind of see it on both sides. It's where it's going through. I believe that's how it's happening as it's moving. Okay. Not so much on the front, just the back. Yeah, the, back, the front has it, but not as bad. Um, your handles are in great shape. This opens, it's a magnetic snap right here. I like overstuffed this one a little bit. <laughs> She's groaning. She ate a big turkey dinner. You know what she feels like, you know. Okay, here's one side. You have a zipper pocket here. Let's keep that shut. Two uh, slip pockets there. Michael Kors, uh, your key holder. You have a center zip pocket here. And last, this side, you have two slip pockets here. Overall, not a bad bag, you guys. 
Okay, hold on one second. There we go. We want her to show her best face. Here you go, girl. You're kind of going to fall down a little bit. That's okay. Um, $2.94, and this one's going to be $45. Okay, $45. Okay, put that over there. Uh, what's next? I just gave you guys a coupon. You didn't even know, so I got to fix it on my paper. Okay, here we go. This is a very cute little satchel. It's a smaller size satchel, not a mini though. Uh, Michael Kors, this is leather. It's a cream color, um, off-white cream um, bone. It, it's amazing. Um, Michael Kors, pebble butter, okay? Here's the front. I love this stitching detail, which gives you like this little fold on either side. I think it's really cute. Um, there's nothing going on the front. There's your Michael Kors. Uh, the side is also looking great. Oh, whoops, I forgot that. There's one little mark right there. Here is the back. There's a little like mark here. It's really hard to see. Okay, you have that same cool stitching detail here. Um, look at, I just saw that. There's like a little scuff there of a mark. Um, okay, handles are in pretty good shape, okay? This one does have some blue on the inside, just so you're aware. Uh, no edge coat problems or anything like that. Zipper pull. This one comes uh, with a dust bag. The dust bag does have some stains on it, but hey, it was doing its job protecting the bag, right? Okay, it does have its adjustable strap. This definitely could crossbody. Curvy girl, eek. Curvy Girl approved. Um, a big slip right there. There's the interior, it's beautiful. You have your little key holder here. And on this side, there's a zip pocket. Now, this one just says Michael Kors. So I believe this is Michael Kors, not Michael, Michael Michael Kors, okay? So it's a little bit nicer. That's why it comes with a dust bag, that kind of stuff, okay? Nice bag, you guys. This one is $2.95 and it's gonna be 50, five zero. Okay, let's put that there. Go right there, sir, ma'am. All right, next, we're on $2.96. And it is a Michael Kors tote. I'm a little heavy on totes today too, huh? Oh well, totally totes today, friends. All right, so this is a pebbled, a monogram pebbled polyurethane, okay? Monogram pebbled polyurethane. <laughs> That'd be fun to say fast. Okay, here you go. Um, gold tone hardware. The front is in great shape. You have this little magnetic snap, little pouch on the front here with credit card slots. So you can use that as your like little wallet. Okay, uh, side, gorgeous. Back, also gorgeous side gorgeous bottom gorgeous the feet do have a little bit of wear okay uh the um straps handles are in awesome shape they are adjustable if you were so inclined okay and this one this one is um divided into three parts a lot of stuff in this lot of stuffings. Okay, here we go. This one, we have a little bit of lint down there. I got to get out. Uh, two slip pockets here. You have a center zip. This is padded, so you could put a laptop in the center, guys. A tablet, whatever you'd like. It's a padded section. Uh, you have this side here. A little piece of lint there. It's a nice shape down there. Oh my gosh, there's a wrapper I missed. <laughs> there you go. And this is a zipper pouch here. Okay, and then you have, oh, you guys! Shut up! Look it! Winner, winner, chicken dinner! Yes, I love when that happens. That was awesome. I didn't plant it, I swear. Michael, Michael Kors, two slips right here. Isn't it nice? Wow, that's fun. I love when I find money. It's only the second time besides change. That doesn't count though. 
Uh, does this have an overall closure? No, there's not a magnetic closure on the sky. Just so you know. All right, you guys. Oh, you were seeing my mess a little bit. Darn it. Okay, 296. This one is going to be. Wait till I tell Hubs. He gets all excited. Uh, this one's going to be 60. 60. For your little laptop, laptop tote. Laptop tote. Okay, next. Oh, we're done on there. Oh, good. We're moving. What time is it? Oh, we're not doing too badly. Yay. Okay, we have some little stuff to look at. All right, so this one is 297. Let me just fix a couple numbers, you guys. Okay, perfect. We'll get some more to go. Dun -dun. All right, first one, we have this Michael Kors wallet, okay? I'm gonna turn this down a little bit, you guys. Please bear with me. Here you go. So the nameplate has some scratching. Uh, the front is nice on this. The corners are nice on it. Always check here on your wallets, you guys, if you're buying a wallet, because that's where they have issues. We have a stain on here that won't come out. I tried. Can you see it? It's here and there. It definitely lightened up. Oh my gosh, my hands are terrible. Um, this is from Tub of Towels, cleaning purses. <laughs> uh, okay, gold tone hardware. It's a zip wallet. Um, hold on, let me make sure it goes fine there. What's going on? Huh. Am I caught? Oh, I'm caught on something. What is that? Hold on, guys. What is that? Oh, the zipper pull inside. This zipper pull is like that, so I couldn't get this zipper around. I'm like, I just used that zipper. What the heck? Slip, uh, credit cards, center zip pocket with a naughty little tab on it. <laughs> I think that was a fluke. And then um, another big slip here, and then... Um, credit card slots there. There's your Michael Kors. Okay. I want to see something. Sorry, you guys. Okay, I was looking at something. All right, so this one is number 297, and this one is going to be 15. Okay, $15. Let's put the number inside, and we'll put that over there. Next. Okay, this wallet, I believe it is brand new. Okay, I believe it's brand new um, because there's a bag to match this that I got from the same person and she had never used the bag. And then looking at this, I think she had it to match it and um, it's, it's beautiful. So this is a pebbled polyurethane gold tone accents here. It is a snap wallet. We'll look at that in a second. It's not a lot to show you because it's literally perfect. Okay, zip here. Close that. Okay, snap. So you have a slip here, a slip here, credit card slots. Is there one there? Nope. Slip here, a slip here, credit card and ID. Isn't it beautiful? This is a beautiful wallet. It's it's in great shape. Okay, so this one is $298. And this one's gonna be $35, you guys. Okay, $35. I believe it is new without tag. I'm going to put that up here. Okay, next. We have a wristlet. Michael Kors wristlet. There's scratching on the nameplate. This one does have some issues, you guys. Um, the front, just, it's not bad, but it's a little bit discolored. Kind of all over. Okay, back's okay. So you can see it's kind of discolored. Um, and then here's the problem. They used a glue on this zipper that stained the whole thing. Okay, so when they're manufacturing this, they put down a glue, they glue the zipper down, and then they stitch after. So this glue that they were using was not a good choice. Uh, here's your wristlet strap. Uh, there's a little bit of wear on that guy. Okay, you can either have it clipped to there or to here if you wanted to. Um, it zips a little bit hard. There's your Michael Michael Kors. Here's your credit card slots. 
and it's nice and clean in there. Okay, so this one is going to be inexpensive because she's got a couple issues. $2.99, two, number $299, it's $12. Okay, $12. So I bought a lot of bags for something beside these this wallet, but I like to show you those anyway, because who knows, somebody might have use for it, right? Okay, here we go. We have a red Michael Kors wallet. This one is in very nice shape. You can tell this one was used though, because it's got like that fold over, folded over edge, right? Um, there you go, but it's really, really nice. Silver tone hardware. Um, this is a pebbled leather on this one, I'm pretty sure. Okay, a zipper pouch here. Uh, this one has a snap closure here. It opens, you have your credit card slots, uh, double row of credit card slots, okay? Uh, ID and another little pouch there. And then you have a spot for bills if you would like to use it for that. Close her up. There she is. This is really, really cute, you guys. Uh, number 300, uh, this one's gonna be 30, okay? $30 on the red wallet. Put the number in there. The number in there. Okay, last, I have something, not last, sorry. Next, I have something really fun. It's a Michael Kors keychain, you guys. It is a faux fur, it is faux, right? Yeah, it's a faux fur, little poof in like a mauve color. Gold tone curb chain, a clip so you can clip it on your bag for fun. There's your little Michael Kors. And a spot for your keys if you'd like. Isn't that cute? I think it's so cute. All right, so this one is 301. We're gonna actually put it right through the clip. Look at that. Oh, okay, number 301, this one's 25, okay, $25. I was surprised what those went for when I started looking for a price, because I had, I had never really had those to sell, so I was like, oh, okay, okay, I see. Okay, oof, next. Okay, we have a little bitty camera um, case style, Michael Kors. This is a Sapiano polyurethane gold tone hardware. It's in excellent condition. We'll check my phone in there. It's gonna be close, it might not fit. We'll check. It's in really nice shape, you guys. If this is not adjustable, you have a gold tone curb chain that goes into a longer um, polyurethane. Uh, curvy girl would be a short crossbody, okay? Um, let's unzip and unstuff. It's in great shape, you guys. So you have a slip pocket here, your Michael Michael Kors right there. And then here you have a slip and then credit card slips, okay? So I have um, a 15 Pro Max with kind of a big case on it, kind of. No, it's not gonna go in, okay? So you need a smaller phone with this or not put your phone in. Eek. Okay, so this one is number 302 and it's going to be 35, okay, $35. I hope I was on camera. I wasn't looking enough to check. Okay, next one. <clears throat> Again, I bought a lot of bags, <coughs> excuse me, jeepers, for other things besides this. I don't typically buy Anne Klein, but sometimes I end up with them. Um, and I, this is a nice bag. I was pleasantly surprised. I'm like, wow, this is really nice. So this is a pebbled polyurethane, I believe. Yeah, I really think so. Gold tone hardware, there's a little Anne Klein Lion. There's the bottom. This is in very, very, very nice condition, you guys. A little mark there on the edge coat. Here's the back, okay. Here's the strap, it is a adjustable. Um, it's on its longest. So I would say this one, Kirby Girl Short Crossbody, okay? All right, so three sections. Zipper pouch here, pocket section, gorgeous. 
Look at the gold, it's so nice, right? Then you have a center part that has a magnetic snap. Ooh, there's that thing. I was looking for that forever. <laughs> then you have your um, credit card slips here. And then here you have a zipper pouch in this section. There's your Anne Klein. And then you have a front zipper section here. This would definitely fit a big phone, no issue. Okay, so there she is, Anne Klein. There's a little mark right there, you guys see it? Okay. All right, this is number 303. And this one, I didn't turn my page, there we go. This one's gonna be 25, okay? 25, look, peekaboo. Ooh. <laughs> All right, 25. Okay, next, put that there. Where do we, oh my gosh, you guys. This might be my favorite bag of the show, is it? No, no, the pink coach, sorry. The pink coach is mine. But this is so nice, you guys. Oh my gosh, so nice. And it's in such nice condition. Um, Here it is. It's beautiful. It is a Michael Kors, um, I'll check crossbody, I think so, crossbody or shoulder bag. It is a brown uh, Safiano polyurethane, gold tone accents and hardware. It has this amazing gold edging all over the bag. The front is beautiful, very light scratching on this uh, plate. Side, absolutely beautiful, beautiful. Beauteous. Beautiful. You have a little uh, pocket here. Oh my gosh, you guys, there's a shell. We're finding all sorts of things today. Um, is this a magnet? Yes, there's a magnet in there to keep that one closed, I believe. Hold on. Now I'm thinking not. No, it's not magneted. Sorry about that. Uh, let's look at the strap. So you have gold curb chain to the brown um, polyurethane. This one is adjusted to its longest right now. Uh, Curvy Girl approved, guys. It doesn't sit too high, that's nice. Crossbody Curvy Girl, crossbody approved. These you push into the center and it pops. Gorgeous. These can come off, they snap on, so you could carry this like a clutch. Uh, little pocket here. A little pocket here with the credit cards. Um, here's your Michael Kors. And then you have a zipper part. Oh, hold on. There's a little like kind of slip here, maybe for bills or whatever. I can't get my finger in, there we go. Zipper part there, and here you have another slip. Isn't this beautiful? Gosh, it's so nice, you guys. I feel like there was something I wanted to tell you. I don't know, it's gone. <laughs> okay, so when I looked this up online, they were going for 60, six zero. So 304, I'm gonna ask 50, okay? $50 for you guys. Discount, I always try to discount them for you. I'm gonna put that one up here too. Okay, next, number 305. Oh, okay, this one. All right, so we have like a taupe color coach crossbody. Isn't it cute? This is a pebbled leather. I've had a bag that looked like this, but a big bag. There's your coach. Um, nothing on the front, it's in great shape. I love all this like gusseting or pleating, pleating. Uh, maybe a little mark right there, do you see it? Side's good. Back is good, side is good. So um, this is removable on the side. Now I tried that little trick where you um, go through this side and make it a shorter shoulder strap. You like double it up. It won't fit through here. So either I'm doing it wrong or it's not meant for that. I don't know. Okay, here's your little coach tag. Here is your strap. There's a little bit more room to groove on this. Let's see. Yep, curvy girl crossbody approved, you guys. Um, I would probably, I always adjust mine to the longest because I like my crossbody long. This nice little zipper pull. 
let's get that out of there. I like this little detail, almost like a belt on there. I really like it. Okay, the interior is gorgeous. This is a beautiful color. Maybe a tiny bit of staining right there. Slip pocket. And over here, we do have a stain. Okay. All right. Overall, I think it's not so bad. What do you guys think? Not that you can answer me. <laughs> All right, 305. This one's 40. 40. 40, folks. 40. Okay, I was trying to see if there was a leather tag. I really do think that one's leather, though. Okay, let's get my camera back situated. Okay, we've made it to Brahmin. I have two Brahmins for you, okay? They're not the crocodile embossed leather. Um, they are both pebbled, I believe. This one definitely is pebble. Um, but here they are. Gorgeous, right? This leather is so nice, you guys, like so nice. So we have like a light brown um, pebbled leather bag by Brahmin. Here's the nameplate. A little bit of scratching on there. There is one mark on the front right here, okay? Here's the side. This has really cool like pleating here too. Here's the side. Side's great. The back, back's great. Side, great. A little bit of scuffing right here. I'm gonna show you the corners in one second. Here's the bottom. Yep, that's fine, it's like just a fold in the leather. Uh, the feet don't really have wear that much on them, not too bad. Here are your corners, a little bit of scuffing there. A scuff here. I probably should paint this, but hey, I'm gonna offer it to you first. Scuff here, because I don't have a ton of time. Uh, handles are nice, a little bit of discoloration from use, but I'm being picky to say that. You have like a brushed gold hardware, uh, gold tone. So you have a couple sections here. You have this section, which has a couple spots for pencils, a couple slips, and a zip, okay? And this is the coolest like um, velveteen liner or whatever. This section closes with a little twist lock. There's that. And that's fun stuff. Oh, I got a piece of lint. There's the center that uh, twist locks. Perfect. Let's close that one up. And then we have this little pouch over on this side too. Okay. Gorgeous. Really nice bag. Brahmin makes gorgeous bags, you guys. Okay, 306. This one is going to be 50. Five zero, okay, five zero. If you don't know Brahmin, go look up and see some of their stuff. I have shown you one of my Brahmin bags a way long time ago. Okay, one more Brahmin for you. This one is so cool, I really like this one. It's kind of like a bucket bag, it is a bucket bag. I keep saying kind of because I'll show you why. Because you could just say it's a drawstring bag because it, do, it doesn't have a circle bottom, it has an like an oval, but it's a bucket bag. A little bit of light wear on those feet. Uh, corners are nice on this one. This one has a little white mark right there. Okay, let me actually show you the bag. I started showing you other things. Look at it. Isn't it so cute? Um, it is navy blue. It is a little bucket bag with a shorter shoulder strap. It is so cute, okay? So let's check it out. Get that out of the way. Here's the front. It's in great shape. The drawstring is in great shape. Again, this is beautiful pebbled leather. It's so nice. There's like a white mark right there. So, so, so nice. The leather is wonderful, okay? So this is factory, but I just want you to see it. The edge coat's just a little bumpy right there, but it came that way. Um, so let's uh, look at the strap. Here we go. A little bit of a, this edge coat's bumpy here too. Maybe it's from use. I'm not sure. Uh, so we have a brushed gold tone hardware. Um, we have this little hang tag. 
We have awesome gold grommets. Let's open her up, undo the drawstring. This will get huge. Ready? Look at it. Whoa! <laughs> this took a lot of stuff in you guys. You have that nice velveteen interior, two slips, pencil spots right there, or pen spots. Don't put a pen. I'd be scared, wouldn't you? Um, a zip pocket here. Works fine. My arm's getting tired. So up here, you can just see um, where the bag comes together. Do you see it? Just on that edge. Okay, and you've got that in a few places on the top. Okay, the dogs are being naughty. Hubs just came in. Okay, here we go. Number 307, this one's going to be 50, five zero. Okay, next. Okay, let me change my numbers for a second, you guys. Sorry about that. So I have four more bags that you haven't seen yet, and then we'll do the five clearancy bags, and then we'll open a thread up box. I forgot to tell you I have a thread up box. Okay, here we go. Michael Kors, you guessed it, tote, guys. It's a tote. <laughs> Are you surprised? <laughs> okay, so this is a Sapiano poly polyurethane. Um, here you go. Here's your Michael Kors. A little bit of, what is that? Yeah, that is starting to have like wear. Do you see it in there? Okay, there it is. A little pull, little hanger. Um, sides nice. This is the only mark on here that I found. Can you see it right there? Here's the bottom. Feet have some wear. They've been doing their job. Straps are adjustable and they are in nice shape. Zipper top, unstuff, unstuff. Here's the interior. There is a stain in the bottom and a pen mark over there and a piece of lint right here. Sorry about that. Uh, two slip pockets here. A little stain right there. And this side is slip, slip, zip, slip, slip, zip, slip, slip, zip. Key fobber, key fob holder, thinger. <laughs> All right, this one's number 308 and this one's 40. Okay, $40. Let's put that in there. Okay, next, what do we have next? Okay, come on, Bubba. Didn't want to leave me there. Next, we have, okay, this one is a little bit disappointing, but the price will reflect it. Um, so it's like a, a beige color coach. It's a shoulder bag. It has a short shoulder bag strap and then a longer shoulder bag strap, okay? This one um, was such a nice bag, except the front has a couple things. So let's talk about it. I'm sure you can see this. There's a stain. It will not come out. Um, and there's like a mark here and there and there and like a scratch. Okay. So this has a twist lock on the front, a little pouch. There's a pen mark here. Um, the side is gorgeous. The back, of course, gorgeous. Why couldn't it be the back, right? Side gorgeous. Bottom, very nice. One little itty bitty mark right there. Corners are nice. Okay, let's look at the straps. We have this one. It is a little bit adjustable here. Gold tone hardware. Oh, this is leather, you guys, by the way. It's a pebbled leather. And then this is also adjustable. It also has um, these really cute tassels on there. Um, I don't see the coach hang tag on this one. Uh, this this longer shoulder strap is removable. Let's unstuff. Unstuff. 
the whole lining came. Came with the stuffing. There we go. Nice interior. Two slip pockets here. This side, here's your Coach Creed. And a zip pocket here. There we go. Super nice. Okay. So if you can get over those marks on the front, it's like the only thing wrong with, wrong with it. Um, I thought I'd show it anyway. Um, that's a piece of hair. That's a mark. You know that. I thought I'd show it anyway, just in case someone's interested. So number 309 is going to be 25. Okay. 25. Gorgeous. 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 It's almost worth it to snag the straps off of it for that price, right? Okay. So, next. I gave you guys a coupon on that one, too. So, I have to write it down. Okay. Coach Crossbody. It's one of the larger crossbodies. The traditional Coachy Poo. It is the pebbled polyurethane in the monogram. Um... It's light brown and dark brown. Uh, on the front, it has gold tone hardware. There's a slip pocket here across the whole thing. I would throw my cell phone in there for sure. Other, uh, the front's beautiful. Side, beautiful. Here's your coach tag. Back, beautiful. Side, beautiful. Uh, bottom, beautiful. Tiny bit of wear on the corners. Okay, tiny, tiny, tiny. Okay, let's unzip. Why do I have issues with zippers and snaps on camera? I don't know. I just do, because I'm trying to hold it so far away from me, that's why. Okay, slip, slip, pencil slip. There's a spot right there on the liner. Looks nice down there. Here's your creed, and here's your zipper pouch here, pocket. There she is. This one is number 310, and it's going to be 25, okay? Just 25 on that one. Okay, next, 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 next. Okay, this is our last purse that you haven't seen today. It is also a coach. It is a smooth leather coach, like almost a briefcase bag, tote briefcase, has silver tone hardware. Um, this is in great shape except for a couple marks and scratches, okay? Smooth leather, it's rough, it scratches. Um, so you have a little mark here, and where's the other one? I don't even see it now. So you can see scratches. I'm gonna kind of show it in the light. Scratch, scratches scratches okay here's your coach hang tag um this is a twist lock pocket with a cool color interior look at that it's beautiful uh here is the back and you can see this like oval scratching here okay it's a bummer it's a nice bag here we go the handles are beautiful uh, the removable shoulder strap, this does not cross body, is beautiful also. It comes with a dust bag, which has a lot of dog hair on it. Not from my house. <laughs> Someone else's dog glitter. There we go. This is a zip closure. We'll try that in a second. Slip, slip, and a pencil slip. Zip pocket here. Works fine. Your creed and let's try the zipper top let's put this in i'll try the zipper top hi bren daddy fed you early i heard that you've worked it back again huh i was hoping the time change would fix this <laughs> all right it's uh this one is number 311 and it's going to be 35 35 dollars which is a bummer. That probably would have been like a $70 or $80 bag without the scratches. Okay, so let's do our clearance super fast. Okay, I have this purple Rebecca Minkoff I'm bringing back. 
I don't know how long ago you saw this. Uh, it is leather. It is like a snake print. has gold tone hardware. This is for show. Um, this one is in nice shape. A little bit of wear right there. One little mark right there. Okay, there's your Rebecca Minkoff. There's a little scratch right there. All right, so you can open it and you can hold this as a clutch or you can snap on the strap. One snap is broken, it still functions. Magnetic um, snap closure, interior is perfect. This would definitely fit a large cell phone. Um, this is not adjustable and it is a shoulder strap, not a crossbody, okay? So last time I showed this to you guys, I asked 27, okay? So I'm gonna knock this one down to 20 bucks. Number 312, 20 bucks. Okay, next. Sometimes I'll mark ones down that you've seen, sometimes not. All right, this one is black leather. Kind of like a patchwork, it's really cool. It's suede, crock print, and smooth leather in black. This is a crossbody or shoulder strap. It has like a webbing or belting Oh, the dog glitter is real on this material here. Sorry, guys. Um, strap, silver tone hardware. I love those chunky rings there. Uh, this one is in great shape, both sides and corners. It's cool, huh? All right, zipper closure. The zipper works fine. Um, I've shown it to you before. You've seen it. Uh, this is Mark New York, Andrew Mark. There's a zipper pouch here and a slip here and the interior is great and it looks like last time uh dad gave this one an a plus i totally agree and um i asked 35 i'm going to go to 27 dollars 313 27 okay there we go on that one did you hear the zipper it works <laughs> all right next i have this cutie this one is screaming, carry me for spring and summer. Are you ready? Look at it. Isn't it so cute? It's a little straw bag with um, brown, I think it's leather, um, accents. So I can't remember who this is. <laughs> I'll peek. Oh yeah, it's that. Etienne Anye, I believe is how we say it. Here you go, this one's in excellent condition, you guys. The previous owner kept this bag stuffed, so you can see it stayed in nice shape. If this had been crunched down, you would have had all breaking along here, right? Um, here is the strap with this really cool braided detail. It's a shorter shoulder bag. Um, let's unstuff, and then I'm gonna restuff right away. Here we go. Okay, gorgeous in there. And here is zip pocket. Dad gave this one an A plus. Totally with him on that one. And it looks like last time I asked 25. So this will be 314 and I'll go down to 20, $20. What time is it? Oh boy, I cannot get past that hour and 45. Ay, 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 ay. You know what, guys? I'll make shorts to show you the stuff that I got. I'll make shorts so we don't have to have a super long video. Okay, I showed this one before. It is a coach um, monogram. I think this one is a coated canvas. No, it's a polyurethane. Pebble polyurethane, this amazing purple color. I love it. Belting material strap. Um, one side of this comes off. Uh, it has its little purple part to make it nice on your shoulder. I believe this is leather, leather accents. It's very adjustable, definitely curvy but girl approved crossbody. Spot to clip something. There's your interior. Oh, back is nice too, you guys. Maybe a teeny bit of lightening on the purple leather, okay? Just a teeny bit. Uh, let's look inside. Okay, first of all, we have a certificate of authenticity. Inside's gorgeous. Um, your creed's there. 
and you have your certificate so you know it's real. Uh, so this one, um, I originally asked 40, uh, number 315, I'm gonna, I'll go 35, okay, $35, okay, last one, I can't move too much on this one, I kind of paid up for it, because it was just gorgeous, it's a T&L, you guys, it is brown pebbled leather, it is in amazing condition, and it is so soft. Look at it. It's just beautiful. So um, it kind of has like a fun moto feel to it a little bit. You have these really cool zip pockets, silver tone hardware, a chunky riveted tag, chunky handle stuff. Just it's really cool. Okay, here's your side. Uh, this does not have anything wrong with it, you guys. Little pocket here. Here's this side. Here's the bottom. The handles are beautiful. And the only thing that this does not have, you guys, is its shoulder strap. Okay? So if it had its shoulder strap, it would carry something like, like this. Okay? So here we go. There's the interior. It's perfect. You have slips. You have zip. T and L. So... Dad gave this one an A plus when he did it. It totally is. It's 316. I had asked 55. I will go to 50. Okay, $50. I did have a little bit more room on that one. Okay, $50. Let's put this one up here. That one is just in perfect condition. Okay, you guys, we're ready for thread up. Woo! Polka dot box. A polka dot box is here. It's another giant one. Do you want to listen? Okay, there's some movement. That little jangle was my purse stand, not the box. Okay, let's get it open. It's a huge one. It's probably 10 inches tall. It's a bigger one. Bren, don't steal stuffing. She probably did. Uh, this one came from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. Not surprising. I told you they like, always do. Does that have my address on it? It totally does. Oh my God. I just flashed my address on the internet. Excellent. How many times have I done it before? Okay, you guys. So I get 20% off on this. It's $100. So that means $80 plus shipping. I don't pay tax in New Hampshire. Let's see what we've got. Oh, what's that? Oh, that looks interesting. Here, hold on. First looks. Look how it's packed today. They're standing up so you can see everything. Okay, let's look. I want to look at this first. Look at this. It's so fun. Look at the colors. It's so fun. All right. So this is, I believe this is leather. It feels like it. It's a little bit dirty. Um, it's coach. It's a zip wallet with two zipper spots. Uh, it has the little metal hang tag. Uh, definitely a little bit dingy on the zippers. Oh, no stain. Yeah, it's a little bit stained on those zippers. Okay, well, let's open and see what we've got inside. Da -da. So we have a zipper pouch here. It works. And we've got a slip here, definitely leather. It feels so nice in here. <laughs> a slip, credit cards, and there is some discoloration there. A slip, spot for your ID. This could fit a small phone. Do you see how it's kind of gusseted on the corners? Spot right there. All right, well, hey, you know what? Overall, I don't think it's too, too bad. Let's do, hmm, leather, coach, wallet, some issues, little mark right there. Let's do, let's do 15, one five, 15, number 317. <laughs> that took me forever. My apologies. <laughs> All right, next. Look at this one. Who is this? Is this Dooney? Okay, let's see. Oh. Is it missing a lock? Oh, okay. All right. So I think this might be a vintage Dooney. Um, 
And this is like, like a polyurethane with all leather trim. I see how it's working now. It's like a, um, it's like a sienna brown color. <laughs> Do you remember that crayon? It's like a red brown. There's a little scratch right here. Um, definitely has some wear on the piping. Okay. Uh, bottom looks nice. Side looks nice. Uh, if you got that off the face, that would hurt. We have the little hang tag. There is some stitching coming out right there. Um, yeah, basically the piping is having issues. Okay, so we have a slip pocket on the back. There's some stains in there. Okay, and this is how this goes together. That goes over the little hook, and then this is your latch, like so. It's kind of fun, right? That's neat. All right, let's open it up. So you have some darkening from rubbing right there. Got a mark right there. Definitely have some marks on the interior. The red dooney interior, dirty inside for sure. Some staining, uh, zip pocket here. If you buy thread up for me, they come as is, you guys. A thread up purse. But right now, if I show it again, it will probably get cleaned. Um, key fob, there it is. All right, I'm going to put a little stuffing in this one, you guys. Hold on. We need to see her stuffed. Don't you agree? Oh, we didn't look at the strap. Here's the strap. Is this the one that you could undo? Um, I don't think so. All right, shorter shoulder strap, but there is adjustment in it. Okay, here we go. There she is. Okay, so this is number 318, and I'll do this one for 35, okay, $35. I'll keep that in there, keep this closed. Next, who do we have next? Okay, next, we have a Michael Kors tote. I told you it's tote day. This is a gorgeous like wine color. It's very, very pretty color. Um, this is a Saffiano polyurethane. Uh, here's your Michael Kors hang tag. Um, I'm not really seeing anything on the front. There's a mark right here and a mark right there. Can you hear Bryn squeaking her ball, you guys? Over and over and over and over. <laughs> There's a mark right there. Mark there. That looks like it will come off. The bottom, not bad at all. Tiny bit of wear on the feet, not bad. Oh my gosh, Bryn. The straps are okay. The edge coat is starting to have some issues, but it's not missing. It's cracked. Okay, here's the interior. Not too bad. Two slip pockets here. Key fob here. Slip pockets here. A zip pocket here. Pen mark, pen mark. Pen mark on the other side too, right here. Okay, let's put a little stuffing in this one. See if we can get her to perk up a little bit. Come on, girl. Oh, we gotta check the zipper too, huh? That's important. Zipper, zipper works. Did you hear it? There she is. All right, so I would say this one just needs kind of a wipe down, a general wipe down, and then your edge coat's starting to go. Okay, those that's what's wrong with it. All right, so this one's gonna be number 319. And this one's gonna be 35. Okay, 35 on that one. I always like that number, 35. Okay, next we have Marc Jacobs, I bet. Yep, it is. Marc Jacobs bags tend to be a little bit heavier and really, really soft leather. So that's how I knew. 
here it is. It's like a cream color. So I would say there's overall dinginess on this one. Um, you have two little twist lock pockets. Those are cute. They both work. Yep. Um, it's a tall one. Look, it almost reminds me of overalls, doesn't it? <laughs> okay. So I would say overall dinginess and then definitely marks. This is a pebbled leather. Can you see all the marks? Definitely marks. Okay. This is what it used to look like. Can you see the difference? Definitely marks. If you buy this, there are marks everywhere. Okay, I want you to be aware. Marks, marks, marks. Marks, 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 marks. Didn't we have a crummy Michael Kors last, uh, Mike, oops, sorry, Mark Jacobs last week? Really uh, worn hardware there. Dingy straps. Uh, three sections, here we go. A zip section that has a couple slips and a zip pocket too. Let's check all the zip pockets. This is Mark by Mark Jacobs. Okay, so you have discoloration all the way across, so that is probably from the glue, okay? You have a spot right there. And here, okay. This leather is so nice, it's a bummer. Okay, it is um, a shoulder kind of hobo-y, slouchy style. Uh, it's going to be number 321. And it's just going to be 20 bucks. 20 bucks. Somebody could definitely take it and paint it. That would be really cool. Okay, we've got Kate Spade. <laughs> uh, and it's a tote. It's the day of totes. <laughs> I love this style. Kate Spade also did this in a um, satchel where you kind of have a domed center and the outsides are lower. I think it's awesome. So this is a pebbled poly... No. Hmm. Yeah, pebbled polyurethane. Sorry, I just wanted to be sure. Uh, uh, I don't see anything wrong on the front. It looks really nice. Here's your little spade like luggage tag, uh, pocket here. There's a snap pocket here. Does the snap work? Yep. Spot you could like clip keys. It's beautiful, clean in there. Okay. Gorgeous. Back is beautiful. Okay. I'm seeing a little bit of marks on the edge coat and some, a little bit of wear on the corners. Okay. Okay, the bottom, there's some marks, not crazy. A little bit of wear on those feet. Wow, overall, pretty nice bag so far, you guys. Uh, we have nice handles, the edge coat's all still nice, gorgeous. Let's try the zipper, how about we do that? Zipper works. Okay, and we have this pocket, there's some stain pen mark down there. The zipper pocket is lined and soft for a laptop. So it's a laptop bag. You have a zipper pocket here. That's nice. I'm not going to stuff it because it's pretty, I mean, it's standing up pretty nicely in the effort to save time. <laughs> All right, you guys. So this one is $321 and this one's going to be $70. It's a nice bag, $70. So we've had two laptop, laptop bags today. That's nice. All right, we are done, you guys. I forgot to tell you how to buy something. What a ding-a-ling. If you'd like to purchase anything, you can pause the video here. It will tell you exactly what you need to do. Make sure you check that sold list, you guys. And I will see you on Tuesday for jewelry. Oh, man, I made a calendar. I made a calendar, and I didn't bring it up. Tuesday is going to be all sterling silver, you guys. All sterling silver on Tuesday, 5 p.m. Eastern. Bye-bye.